I'm going to show you how to make this really easy, awesome catapult. So all you are going to need is a plastic spoon, some wooden popsicle sticks, and some rubber bands. Okay, so we're going to start with about 10 popsicle sticks or craft sticks, and we are just going to bundle them together and rubber band them in the center. So just tie it around a few times. And then we are going to take two more popsicle sticks. So I've got two here, and we're going to put one on top of our big stack and one on the bottom. And then we are going to use another rubber band to fasten the base here to make that V shape. So let me tie that off. And then to secure this, I'm going to put another rubber band up here. So let's tie that off. Now, you don't have to tie it too tight because you don't want your rubber band to snap. So make sure you're being careful. And so this is the shape you're going to have right now. Now we need to add a spoon. All right, so I've got my spoon here and I have the catapult laying flat on the table. So for the top bit here, I'm going to attach the spoon over this top craft stick. So to begin, you could actually just use the existing rubber band at the bottom and tuck the spoon underneath the rubber band so it's secure there. But we'll want to secure the top as well. So I'll add another rubber band right here across the neck of the spoon. So let me tie that off and then we will be ready to rock and roll. All right, so now all you need is something to launch in your catapult. So I've got this lovely soft pom-pom, so we recommend only using something soft, you don't wanna hurt anyone. So you'll load that into the spoon, and here we go, woo! <laughs> Brian? And you so you have just created a simple machine. This is a lever. We have the top board here where the spoon is laying, and that is our lever. The center where it's all connected is called the fulcrum, and that's actually where it pivots. See, it kind of bends up and down from there. On this end where everything's tied off, this is called our resistance force. And then up here where I flick it, that is our effort force. So it's the amount of effort you put into it. So I'm going to put the pom-pom back on and sling it at you. And so it's a really cool to experiment. You could try moving the fulcrum closer to the um, force that's tying it down or closer to your effort force to see how it changes uh, the trajectory of the pom-pom. So I'll let you find that out.